Pop Culture News, November 21st, 2023. Hello and thank you for tuning in to Pop Culture News. My name is Ebony Walters and this is The Tea. On Monday, November 20th, 2023, Superior Court Judge M.L. Villar of California ruled that sufficient evidence has been presented by ASAP Relly legal name Terrell Efron in his legal team in his assault and battery case against ASAP Rocky. And the trial has been set for January 24th. I'm sorry, January of 2024. Rocky born Raheem Mayers is being brought up on two counts of assault with a firearm after four former childhood friend and co-collaborator from the group that launched his career, the ASAP mob pressed charges after a heated discussion on November the, t- the 6th, 2021 turned violent. The ensuing fallout is what sparked Rocky's arrest from LAX after he returned home from an extended trip in April of 2022 from the Barbados. Rocky was not arrested or officially charged until August of that same year. During the preliminary hearing, which took place once again on Monday, November the 20th, 2023, Relly took the stand to tell his version of the events. According to People Magazine editorial assistant who published the article, Daniela Avila, ASAP Relly testified he and Rocky were cordial at one point, saying we were really cool. We were really chill all the time. People Magazine further reports that Relly claims tensions began to build as Rocky found more and more success as a solo artist, going on to call him big headed. Relly further explained that tension reached a boiling point when their former ASAP mob member ASAP Josh died in a car crash on October 16th, 2021 and the ASAP mob banded together to assist Josh's mother financially in transporting his body back to New York City. It was at this point, Relly claims Rocky agreed via group chat to help financially, but to to Relly's knowledge, he did not. Relly goes on to claim under oath during the hearing that things further escalated when Relly overheard Rocky bad-mouthing him on speakerphone during a a subsequent conversation. However, Rocky's high-profile defense attorney, Joseph Takapana, who has defended Donald Trump amongst other celebrities, claimed in court that this was false and that Rocky did indeed pay up. ASAP Relly goes on to testify that a few weeks later, Relly spotted Rocky with two other ASAP crew members, ASAP Ills, Elijah Ulanga, and ASAP 12V, Jamil Phillips, outside the Hollywood parking garage and confronted him. It was at this point, surveillance footage from the parking garage was played in court showing the scuffle. The video has no sound. In the silent video obtained from RollingStone.com, a man who is presumably Rocky is seen reaching into the waistband of his sweats and brandishing a weapon. Directly after, the men are seen scattering and ducking, hiding behind buildings. In court, a corresponding video from another surveillance camera in the distance, which had sound and a time stamp stamp corresponding to the scuffle, was played and shots are heard in the audio. During testimony, Relly says he, meaning Rocky, was shaking me and pointing the gun, which he described as a standard clip semi-automatic black gun, into his stomach, pressing it against his chest and head while yelling, I will kill you right now. Relly then testified Rocky fired two or three shots, one of which grazed his knuckles, resulting in minor injuries. The man who appears to be ASAP Rocky is then seen running through the neighborhoods, passing surveillance cameras, and finally stopping to collect himself in front of a home. According to the police investigation, the gun was never found, but ASAP Rally did return to the scene to collect the shell casings, which were entered into evidence. On August 10th, 2022, Relly filed a civil lawsuit for where he is suing for $25,000 in medical bills, plus an undisclosed sum in punitive damages for emotional distress. ASAP Rocky faces up to 24 years in jail. I believe it. What the fuck is that? What was that? 